Okay. You guys need to identify yourselves. Shut up. You, uh, don't tell me to shut up. You shut, you shut the up. Officers are seen as good people who serve others. Sadly, there are corrupt officers who misuse their power. What happens when these corrupt officers get destroyed by smart suspects? This is my daughter. She's 14. You can't arrest a 14 year old. No, you cannot. No, you can't. It's officer safety. Officer safety? Officer safety would have been tapping on the door nice and having some backup if you fear for your life. You know how that feels? Think if you got off a shift and I come beat your door down. I didn't do nothing wrong to you. That's wrong. Don't do that. This body cam video shows an officer banging on a man's door. The suspect, who is the homeowner, answers the officer and confirms that he owns the dog that caused trouble in the neighborhood. The suspect points out the officer's poor attitude and puts him in his place for misbehaving. Hello, sir. Hey. How we doing? Doing all right. You got a, you have a brindle pit bull yeah, dog? Yeah, I got a brown box mix. Brown box mix yeah. dog, kind of a tiger stripe on him. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty solid, strong yeah. looking thing. Okay. Well, well, I just, if you don't mind, don't beat the hell out of my door if you don't mind, okay? I, I came to the door, that was a loud knock. I, don't, I would never come to your house and do it, don't come to mine, okay? Now let's handle some business. An officer walks to door and bangs on it. The suspect answers his loud call, and the officer asks if he is the owner of a dog that caused trouble. The suspect complains about the officer's banging and instructs him not to do it again. Don't do oh, what? Some shorts on, buddy. What is your problem? Don't have to swing my door open. When I close my door, I was going to put some shorts on. Okay? You don't have to beat my door down. All you have to do is knock. I'm nice. The suspect enters his house to put his pants on and shuts the door. The officer swings it open without his consent. This upset the suspect, and he didn't hide it from the officer. Yes, sir. Were you here about 10 minutes ago? No, I wasn't. I just got home. I just got home. Okay. I've got a lot of cars. I just got home. I just got off. Okay. I was here earlier, and I didn't notice a change in the difference in cars. Um, come here. Come here. Come feel my hood. Since you didn't notice the change in cars, you, you, since you didn't notice the change in cars, if you put your hand on this exhaust, and you let me know, is it hot? Does it feel like somebody got off the highway? I, I didn't. Don't stand here. You can feel the heat come off of you. I didn't, I didn't say you were lying. Well, you implied. Come, come no, here. Come I'm not. You ain't even got to touch it. Just come, just I can come feel, here. I can feel the heat Thank standing you. here. The officer gives his reason for banging on the man's door. He accused the suspect of ignoring his first knock, but the suspect informs him he just returned from work. He takes the officer to one of his cars and shows that the engine is still hot. The fact that I am here again, been Thank a while. my dog, I know. Yes, sir. I know. I was at work. Gets out the fence, he's gonna be tied up. When his dogs run around in heat, a male will do anything. Most dogs, when they come through here, guess what I do? It's not guess a... what most neighbors do? We shoe them home. But it seems like you are just out to get him. I mean, and I know he breaks out. Mm -hmm. I discipline him too. And he's wrong. But the way you come knock on beat my door down. Yes, sir. That's uh, that's a no-no. And then swing my door back open after I closed it? Don't you ever do that again. You hear me? Excuse me? You cannot open my door. The suspect asks the officer what his business is. He admits that his dog was at fault for causing trouble, but says the officer's actions are inexcusable. Do not swing my door I, open. I, I cannot open your you door. You cannot open my door. You tell me, what, you tell me what, what, what law says you can open my door. It's what law says can that I, you can... Can I trust that you don't have a gun? Why would I have a gun? Now we're getting it. Why would I have a gun? Can I trust that you don't? Why would I have a gun? Can I trust? I'm, I'm saying, why would I have a gun? Can I trust that you don't? Why would I have a gun? Can why I does trust? a gun? Why does a gun even come up? The suspect asks the officer what right he has to bang his door and open it. The officer assumes the suspect has a gun, and the suspect uses this assumption against him. Can I trust that you don't? Because it's officer safety. Officer safety. Officer safety would have been. Tapping on the door nice and having some backup if you fear for your life that I had a gun. But no, you come beat my door down right when I got off work, right from watching the news. Do you know how that feels? Think if you got off a shift and I come beat your door down. I didn't do nothing wrong to you. That's wrong. Don't do that. The officer says he is trying to maintain officer safety. 
and the suspect narrates how he should have done that. I know where my dog is. Do not beat down my door again. I will be glad to treat you like a man. Okay, well do that. Don't come beating down my door and don't come with gun hold stuff on your mind. I have a child and the first thing you dad gonna bring up is guns. You're not starting no gunfight here, buddy. I don't because I know better. I know better. I the first thing on your mind was did I have a gun? Y'all itch to use for those my, things so bad. For You're my so own scared. Safety. I know. For you to be safe. If you're that scared, find another job. Find another job. Come work with me. I'll get you a job. Where? Colonel Span. Okay. The okay. chemical planet Colonel Span. Okay. You want a job there? Should no. I call John Connell now? No. You don't want a job? You want to be an officer? You want to be a real officer or do you want to be a harasser? Okay? I'm looking at you like a man. Mm -hmm. Treat me like a man. Okay? The suspect points out how the first thing the officer thought about was if he had a weapon. He sarcastically offers the officer a job and says he should take it if he doesn't feel safe. I'm here, here to keep you guys code. accountable. Good. Account for me in your car. I'm, I have no problem standing right here. I do. I'm no threat have to you. You're, you came out of your vehicle with a gun in your hand. Doing. On July 5th, 2023, a suspect hollered a Jackson, California police officer to informing him on some traffic regulations he was violating. The officer emerged from his vehicle with a gun, and this threatened the suspect. The officer acted rudely towards the suspect. Do you realize that you were speeding? You switched lanes three times yeah. without a blinker, and you went through a light without a blinker? Okay. Call your A. Put that away. Look Have at a you. Seat. Have a seat. Don't get Look out of the car. You. Come on, let's go. I was pulling you up. Let's get go. your hands off me. Let's have a seat. Get your hands off of me. Have a seat. You have no right to violate my rights. Okay. You were the one that was violating laws. Don't touch my door. Don't That's be mean. my space. An officer steps out of his vehicle while holding a loaded weapon. A suspect talks to the officer while recording the incident. The officer instructs the suspect to return to his car and have a seat. Okay, well, I want your chief down here. Which one? It all depends who's on right now. Okay, I'm so who's on? Clock. That's fine. I'm the senior officer. Working okay, today. but you have a CHP over here, right? You have an office? Okay, it's right around the corner. Can you we ask can your talk. supervisor please to come down here? We don't have one. Not today. Okay, so who is your who is your supervisor then? Todd Thibodeau, he's our commander. Who's your um who is that? Supervisor in training. Or I mean in, in office. We have three sergeants. So Jeremy Dobler, uh, Reggie Whitehead, and uh, I know Whitehead. Yeah. That's one, of my, that's, call one of my, that's one of my officers, friend of mine. The suspect demands to speak with the officer's supervisor. The officer says the department doesn't have a supervisor that day and that they only have sergeants. And I am so here to keep vehicle you vehicle guys car. accountable. Good. Account for me in your car. I'm, I have no problem standing right here. I do. I'm no threat have to you. You're, you came out of your vehicle with a gun I don't know in what your you're hand. Doing. I hollered at you back there. You already know what I'm doing. Well, now I do. I'm have keeping you accountable. Well, let's start with driver's license, registration, insurance. Let's I don't see. have to. The suspect refuses to sit in his vehicle and says he isn't a threat. He reminds the officer that he stepped out of his vehicle with a gun in his hand and says he is keeping the officer accountable for his actions. I know you don't. That's obvious. You're a tyrant. Probably. More than likely, yes. I'll give you the same choice I give everybody else. If How long have you been here? You got three stripes on you? Yeah. And you're acting like that? Acting Man, like the what? power has gone to your head, dude. Probably. Have a seat. No, thank you. Okay, what would you like to do this evening? Call your supervisor. Come on back. Let's go. Call your supervisor. Yeah, I am gonna. We're gonna come back here. I'll be here. right here. I'm not cranking my phone out when I'm standing on the traffic side. Come on, we'll stand over here. You can film and record all you want. I'll stand right here. All right, which one do you want to talk to? Whoever's on duty right now. Nobody. Again, I'm a senior officer working today. Okay, so you're the senior officer. Yep. Who do you want to talk to? Or do you want to come in tomorrow and complain? That'd be fine too. Okay, driver's license, but I need, and insurance. I, I need a complaint form. We don't do that. The suspect accuses the officer of being a tyrant, and the officer says he probably is. He barely responds to the suspect's statements and demands for his license and registration. The suspect refuses to provide the requested documents. Do you realize that it's officers like you that give the rest of officers bad names? We're all names? Punks, dude. Get used to it. Driver's license, registration, and insurance. I don't care. I'm not giving you anything else. I'm silent from here on out. I invoke my Fifth Amendment Turn right. Put your hands on no, your back. thank you. You, hey, that is. Don't resist don't do my this. arrest. You just resist I'm an arrest. I'm not resisting arrest. Then give me your stuff or do put your hands on your this. back. 
Do Turn not around. do this, Hands sir. Hands on the car. You stepped it up, not me. Sir. You stepped it up. I moved me. my hand away from you reaching for me. I didn't touch you. Okay. I haven't touched you. This is a lawful you. request. Turn around and place your it's, hands behind your back. What is the lawful stop? Expired the registration? Yep. You Can't. didn't even notice that until you came back around after I had already hey, hollered at you. We can go wherever you. we'd like to go. If I see Call a violation. Call one of your supervisors. Seriously. Let's go back here and do it then. You're going to pull your so arm away make, from me? Let's make follow the your rules. Phone call. We're going to do it Hey, there. you're the one who tried to place me under arrest. I have no, video I of the whole thing. You. Where you? What, I'm sorry. I want to detain you because For what? you're agitated and upset. I'm not upset. I'm perfectly calm. I've leaned against my vehicle several times. You've actually Don't come over game. here. It's I'm not I'm playing any game. You're violating my rights. Well, let's go driver's license. Do you know what 45 insurance. USC 1983 I is? I don't care. Okay, what is 18 or 45 USC? You know what? You took you an oath, right? Because you don't know it. You took an oath, right? I did. To defend and uphold the Constitution and support and defend it. Absolutely. Domestic and, you know. So what about, what about the Fourth Amendment due process? Not only sure. that. We can talk about all of that if you like. And why did you pull me over in the first place? You were going down that road down there at yeah. that light. Until you know I hollered, hollered out, stop breaking the laws. Stop breaking. Okay. The suspect informs the officer that it's people like him who give other officers a bad name. The officer, on the other hand, says he will get used to their attitude and continues asking for the suspect's documents. He also attempts to arrest the suspect. Again, you can call and complain, come in and complain. They'll write me up if I did all those things and you have the evidence to support it, I'll get written up. Okay, that's how it works. You're violating laws though. Sure. Laws. What ones? Vehicle codes, okay? Which one? You're name violating name vehicle one. codes. Name one. I just told you what Which you were one? doing back there. Name one. I'm not gonna look it up on my phone. You no, don't even wanna you don't even wanna pull your lanes. phones. You were unsafely switching lanes. You okay. didn't signal on switching lanes. You were speeding well over 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. What's the speed limit? 30 miles an hour right back there. Okay. Are you were doing at least 45. Somebody else? I know for a fact who I have. It was you. Okay. Everything we did. I saw your face before. Tracks. If that's cool, the where's case, the camera at? It's up right by those red and blue lights. Perfect. Awesome. Because okay. I'm going to do a FOIA Come request for that as well. Come on in and complain. They know exactly how fast I'm going at all times. My vehicle's tracked. So okay. if that's the case, they'll write me up. But Perfect. let's start from the beginning. I stopped you. The officer instructs the suspect to make a formal complaint to the police department if he has the necessary evidence. The suspect accuses the officer of breaking road laws. Sir, after you've on, slammed my here. hand Sir, in done. my Don't. door, stop it. Please. Stop it. We're done. You're going to you crush my hands. finger now? Let Don't go. do it. Now you're resisting Don't do me. it. Don't. Ch you're taking call it Call your here. officer. You just I'm, did. You need to call. You We're didn't done. tell him what you're doing, though. He'll you need to what tell him what he's. Let's be done. Let's come back here. I'm done with this. I'm not gonna fight with you, sir. Let's not, let's go We're over not here. gonna do this. You have my kids in the back of the car crying here. Good. Sir? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Excuse me. I'm being illegally here. detained here on the side of the road. Until we're done, we're gonna do this. I'm in cuffs right now. My kids are in the back seat bawling their eyes out. I have tried to be peaceful with him and now it's not working. Just give, He's taking your my phone. He's Keep taking your hand in your phone in your hands. He's taking me into the back of his cop car come on. right now. I need you to come and get me out of this. You've been drama. detained until I can properly identify you. I'm straight across the street. I just said who my name was. I'm I don't know who you are. The seat from the cinema. They can come on out. Can you come over? All right, I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? All right, thank you. The officer grabs the suspect's hand and proceeds to detain him. The suspect says he is being illegally detained and informs the officer that his children are in the vehicle. Everything that's going on, I think you would be safer, officer, if you didn't come up to somebody, where's your ID, get off my property, right? Exactly. And so you would be safer because you don't know me. In this amateur footage, a detective and officer of the Glasgow Police Department can be seen questioning a journalist. They instruct him to leave the police department parking lot, but he says he is ensuring their vehicles are well maintained. Hey, how are you? Oh, something I can help you with, or you just check out the cars? Oh, can I get your name and badge? I don't have a badge. Your name? Ty. And who are you? And your name and badge number, sir? Well, who I asked, you? I asked Do you have you? any identification? Oh, sir, I'm going to ask that you de-escalate. Okay, the thing Re I'm talking about, you're on private property, right I'm not now. on private property. Okay, on this is public. Okay. This is public property, sir. Sure. Can I get your name and badge number? My name is Officer Claywell. The detective and police officer approach the suspect and inform him he is on private property. He corrects their mistake by saying the police department isn't private property and asks for their badge numbers. Uh, you're a detective? Yes, I am. Okay. You have to calm down, okay? Yes, yes, de de no, he wasn't calm. calm he wasn't, he wasn't you, calm. I, I know you. 
I'm you not. I don't want to. I don't want to even talk to you. Them. You can. I don't want even want to talk well, to you. I don't even want to talk to you. When you're walking around police vehicles. Uh huh. These are public vehicles. I'm yes, just checking them out. Yes, public vehicles when you're on public property, and you're allowed to be back here. But we have to be concerned about you doing something to the vehicles. I mean, because it's I guess not normal if somebody comes back here and just to do what you're doing, right? No, I'm just I'm just checking out the vehicles. That's all I'm doing. All right. The suspect instructs the officer and detective to calm down and de-escalate the situation. He doesn't want to talk to the officers and claims to be examining public vehicles. No problem with you checking me out. My mm -hmm. issue is is when officers come up to me trying to escalate a situation. How does somebody ask you? I ask you, I ask you how you're doing. And no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying you, sir. I'm saying the officer here that came up. Where's your ID? Give me your ID. You're on private property. This is not private property, sir. Okay. You need to calm down. You need down. to leave the property. That's it. You can't trespass me from public property, sir. You're on right here. Around this is vehicles this is taxpayer property, sir. I'm not doing. I'm not breaking any laws. This is a constitutionally protected activity, sir. Okay. You you took you an go. oath. Yeah, I got. It. Okay. I got it. You go ahead and take it, then. I I but I'll stand right here. Say okay. That's probably the best move for your department and your city, sir. Honestly. Please I'm not, I don't want please, to, please you guys can go, to I'm not, I, how is that talking down to him, you, sir? You, you, you're trying I'm to saying bait that's him. the best move. You're trying to bait him. I'm not trying you. to yes. bait him. The suspect explains how he doesn't like when an officer suddenly escalates a situation. He informs them they can't trespass him for being on public property. Alone by patrol cars, yes, we're going to be concerned about you're you being back here concerned. by yourself. Uh, be concerned. Okay, I understand. I understand your concern, sir. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a concern. I'm mm -hmm. saying there's a way, like the way you're handling it now. There's a way to handle your concern, right? And that's why everybody's safe and everybody, you know, there's there's no there's no I issues. I introduced myself. My name was Guy. What was your name again? My first name's Sean. Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. Is nice to meet you too. Do for you? No, I don't need any help at the moment. Thank you. I appreciate well, that. While you're back here, we're gonna stand over here. And we're gonna yeah. watch you and make sure you don't do nothing. That's we also are on cameras here. That is that is completely fine. All right. The detective informs the suspect that the police department is concerned that he is on the parking lot by himself. They formally introduce themselves, and the detective informs him that the officer will continue monitoring him. It's so funny. That's the thing. A camera doesn't lie, right? The camera doesn't lie. That's right. It doesn't. It doesn't lie. There is there is no there is no way I can paint it, right? They're gonna see me talking. They're gonna see you talking. But they're also gonna and they're and they're going to judge and they're gonna judge us based on our actions. The camera too also doesn't pick up everybody's perspective, especially from sight and the way you have to move every so Well, no, I'm looking. I, I was where, where was I pointing the camera when you guys came up to me? Right, right at right at the cars, right. Yeah. That's that's so what I was doing. Taking photos of the vehicles. Because I'm a journalist. That's what I do. Yeah. I go and I show different vehicles of different police departments. The, the departments. I check out the tires, make sure you guys are keeping them up to date. The suspect walks around the parking lot as the officer follows him around. He doesn't like the officer's behavior towards him, and the camera doesn't lie. Yeah. But sir, all, all I would ask you is that as a member of law enforcement and a public servant, you shouldn't come, you should not come up to people aggressive like you did, the sir. The thing is, you shouldn't be in this area. I am. I am in this area. Because the fact is, when you're walking around, the public safety vehicles with everything that's going on i hear that a lot exactly there's always a lot of stuff going so, on so i mean <laughs> the best thing to do is don't okay with everything that's going on i think you would be safer officer if you didn't come up to somebody where's your id get off my property right exactly and so you would be safer because you don't know me i could be in a i'm a nice guy luckily that's for you i don't know exactly you. but luckily for you i'm a nice knows, guy you could be on the fbi the suspect informs the officer that he shouldn't walk to random people aggressively he informs the officer on how he should behave and approach people if he wants to avoid conflict. Climate, the way law enforcement is being looked at right now, and that all the attacks. Oh, I think that would go both ways, sir. I, I don't, I don't want to bring up. See, and that's the thing. So you're trying to paint the narrative that you know law enforcement. I can paint the narrative that well, you don't have to paint that, the narrative if you I'm, just read the paper or see the. You could watch. You could watch the news about people being, you what? know, killed, and people being, killed you by know, who? by police officers. That, um, that's way more in the news. That happens way more than police officers die. Look at the st statistics. Uh, I have way more chance of dying by you than you do by me. 
one hundred percent. I hope that's not true. I would hope that's not true as well. But I'm talking about you're bringing up statistics. The detective steps in again and informs the suspect that law enforcement is being carefully observed, so all officers are being careful. The suspect reminds him of how police officers have unlawfully harmed civilians. The suspect eventually speaks to Captain Ashley Jones and she shows him a sign. She then explains that he can only come to make complaints at the department. The suspect thanks her and leaves. Who called y'all? We, I don't have you. that demon. You myself. will not I listen. listen. I have a call on you. I, you have to identify yourself to me. I you don't. understand what no, I'm telling no. you? No, I don't. On May 2022, Officers of the Silicaga Police Department confront and arrest a man after receiving an anonymous phone call. The man, Pastor Michael Jennings, was seen watering his neighbor's flowers when the officers arrived. What you doing here, man? Watering flowers. Are uh, they saying that? Is that your vehicle? It's not? It's a neighbor's vehicle. The neighbors? You live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here? Who's saying it? They called about it. I don't know who I, called. I, I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? Yes. I'm looking out for their house while they're gone. Okay. Uh, Why didn't they fly? Okay. Well, that's cool. Do you have like ID? And I don't all? know, man. I'm not going to give you no ID. Why not? I ain't did nothing wrong. And did well, you, look, listen. Listen, I'm not saying do nothing wrong. Nah, listen, There's a suspicious I a, person. Look, I used to be a police officer in good water. Don't come here with that. Okay. Look, man, don't do this to me. Nah. You, there's a suspicious person in the yard. And if you're not one to identify yourself. I don't have to identify myself. I just not a, I stop and identify state. That guy know me. He can't do my story that got broke in. I live right over there across the street. Who calls y'all? That's what we got to figure out. But yep. first. An officer approaches Jennings and says he got a call saying he isn't meant to be there. Jennings identifies himself as the pastor that lives across the street, but the officer asks for a means of identification. You have no right to approach me if I ain't did nothing suspicious or nothing wrong. Listen. Told him I'm a pastor. I pastor until I don't hear you. You want to lock me up? Lock me up. Nobody wants to lock, lock me up. I'm not showing y'all anything. I'm a casino with all these flowers. I don't care who called y'all. Lock me up and see what happens. I want you to. Hey man, just come here and talk to us. I'm what? What? Well, if you would let us talk to you, we can figure stuff out. You can do whatever you want to do it. Do it. We're, we're just trying to talk to you, man. Come here. Jennings informs the officers that he did nothing wrong, and they have no right to approach him. He instructs them to arrest him and says he isn't showing them anything. He begins walking away, and the officers follow him. Okay. We're just trying to talk to you and Sir, see. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to argue with you. Do what you got to do. Go on and lock me up. Look, just have a seat. We're sorry, we're not locked, locked up. up. Just have a seat, okay? Okay. I already locked you. Sit, sit down. Fire. Sit down, man. Okay, just. Okay, let me call my wife. You're not calling my nobody. My son just got racially profiled in uh, Michigan. He's got his master's degree. He's an athletic director. Three police profiler came in. I was ex police officer in Good One. I told you I'm a pastor. Okay, look, man. I uh, who called y'all? We. I don't have you. that idea. Myself. You will not I listen. I have a call on you. I, you have to identify yourself to me. I you don't, understand what no, I'm telling don't. you? No, I don't. You wait. Watch how you want. Take me down. Book me. Go do what you need to do. Go do what you need to do. I think it's gonna please, be. Please call my wife right quick. We're going to wait off. All right. Well, y'all sit with him, Jeremy. I'm going to go over here because there's six people over here. The officers put Jennings in handcuffs and make him sit in front of a house. He refuses to give them an ID because he verbally identified himself. Jennings asks the officers to call his wife, and the officer asks dispatch to call the anonymous caller. Do you know that gentleman? Back? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Does he, does he have permission? He lives right there. Okay, does he have permission here to be watering flowers? He may because um, they are friends. Okay. And they went out of town today. So right. He may be watering their flowers. Okay. It'd be completely normal. Okay. That's is fine. that that's Please, that's yeah. fine. If he would have said, "Hey, I got this," gave his identification because he's a suspicious person, uh, he said that's not his vehicle. It's, it's their vehicle. Okay. We were called. Like, yeah. We're we're here okay. because we're called here. I don't know who called, but somebody did. Did you call us? Jennings' neighbor emerges and informs the officers that Jennings and the house owner are friends. She says the house owner is out of town, and it's normal for Jennings to be watering his flowers. Dispatch then informs the officer of the vehicle's owner. Listen, let, let, let me talk to you. Who is Roy Milo? I'm Michael Jennings, sir. You're Michael Jennings. Who is Roy Milo? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's who that vehicle belongs to. Yeah, that's who all I knew his name is Roy. That's who lives here? That's Roy. I call him Roy and call his wife Connie, and I've been dealing with him for seven years that I've yes. been living here. They are friends. The officers remove Jennings from the patrol vehicle and question him on the vehicle's owner. 
He knows the homeowner by Roy and has called him that for years. Anytime the police come out and they say, we want to identify you, you have to identify yourself because there's a reasonable suspicion, there's a reasonable man, there's a vehicle. There's a reasonable suspicion that you're here. It's not a crime. The officer instructs Jennings to always identify himself to the police when they ask for it. He informs Jennings that here is a reasonable suspicion behind their request for his ID. Um, if he don't give me an ID and we don't have a way to identify him, but if, if he's got it, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah, no he's okay. So he's um, been identified. I'll he's identified himself. She's identified here. him yeah. and verified yeah. who yeah. he is and where he lives. She knows who's fine him on scene. All he's doing is watering the plants, and that's not a problem. That's what do you want? What do you want to do? And do we say, hey, sir, we have a call here. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? Need you to identify yourself, please. But no, I'm not identifying okay. myself. You don't have to identify me. So on. Jennings' wife arrives and identifies her husband. She informs the officers that the neighbors asked him to water their flowers that morning. The officers inform her that Jennings will be arrested and charged with obstructing their investigation. Jennings officially filed a lawsuit against the police department after being released on bail. Yeah. Put the phone down. I don't care, my I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. Ask your face on. Turn around. Turn around. No. Turn around. No. No. On July 19, 2023, a Menominee police officer stopped a vehicle with three young men in it. The officer accused the men of speeding, but they denied the allegation. The situation suddenly escalated as the officer instructed the men to drop their phones, but one of them refused. You shouldn't be pulling to the back of a parking lot when no. someone turns their lights on. No, we understand that, but we was coming here anyway. So it was like, instead of holding up traffic and stopping, we just pull right here. An officer hollers at a vehicle as it drives into a parking lot. The officer goes to the driver and accuses them of trying to evade him. The suspects explain that they door dash at the building and didn't want to cause traffic by stopping in the middle of the road. You guys have IDs on you? Yeah, I do. It's in my book bag. Where is it? My book bag. Where's that? Right here next to me. You can grab it. Oh. You got ID, man? Yeah. Hey, she said, why do you need an ID if it's a traffic stop? I'm just asking. He just asked. You just asked him. So you, you don't need to see it? Or so you don't need to see it? I'm asking for it. You asking for it? Yes. But I, I don't have to show it? As the passenger, you don't have to give it to me, but I'm asking you for it. That's cool. Okay. Do you have anything here you shouldn't have? Okay. Because it smells like marijuana. The officer asks the suspect for a means of identification and the driver provides one. He asks the passengers to provide their ID and says the vehicle smells like an illegal substance. On all three, you come out. You gonna search the car? Leave the phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey, what's his name? TJ, Lisa. He said leave the phone. Why you got my phone? Why Leave the phone in there. Why can't you have his phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't right now. Is that a law? Investigating something. Is that a law? Put your phone in there right now. The officer instructs the suspects to step out of the vehicle. He instructs them to leave their phones in the vehicle. The third suspect refuses, and they ask why they can't have their phones. I'm going to take you. I will take you. Why are you trying Why are they clicking me for no reason? Hey, grab my phone, Dad. You quick. Grab my phone, bro. I can't have a phone. I'm quick about it. You charge me. Pulse 211, 1080. Like, sis, hey, can we record? Ain't that our right to record? Hey, ain't that our right to record? Step in front of the car. Step in front of the car. Stay right here. Stay right here. Okay. okay. Stop, I'm not Stop resisting. All right. Resist. You are. Around. I'm telling you to face the car. The suspect refuses to put his phone down and the officers rush to arrest him. He resists arrest as he hasn't done anything wrong, but they place him in handcuffs. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. You're under arrest for instructions. Bro, what? Obstruction. Obstruction. Back of the car. The officer puts on his gloves and searches the suspect for dangerous or illegal items. He informs the suspect that he is under arrest for obstruction 
and places him in the patrol vehicle. We don't got to talk to nobody else. Why is he getting arrested? Why is there so many people here? It's just three of us. What's going on? We don't got to talk to none of them. We're talking to him. Who pulled us up? I'm Tina. Hold on, hold on. Talk to you. We don't got to put it down. Wait, no, wait, wait. We don't got to put it down. Look. Wait, just let him talk. Now, why is he being arrested? Do you want me to explain to you what's going on? Put your phone down. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. I don't have to put my phone down. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You really want to do that? You just sit it up. You just want to do the same thing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's not a law that I have to put my phone down. You talk to me, you start talking to me. You're not arresting me. You're not doing shit. The other men complain about the unlawful arrest and record as they request to speak with the arresting officer. The officer instructs them to put their phones down as he approaches, but they refuse. Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. Can we grab stuff? Stuff's here. Here. Hey, AJ! Hey, bro, grab my phone! AJ! Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, just shut the up and grab my phone! I'm gonna grab it! Stay right there! You don't have to say shit! Just pick the stuff up on the grass. Bro, don't touch my phone! AJ! Hey, bro! Hey, what the f is wrong with y'all? Hey, stop f touching him before I slap this s up, boy. All right, let's keep everybody's stuff straight. That's his. That, them his keys. That's his. The second and third suspect are also placed under arrest. One of the suspects is forced to the ground before the officers are able to restrain him and put him in handcuffs. Get on the ground! Stay down! Don't move! You stay down! Don't move! If you get up, you are going to get tased again! Do you understand me? On July 21st, 2020, officers of the Loveland Police Department arrived at a suspect's house and approached the teenager's father. They attempt to arrest the girl, who is 14 years old, but her father refuses. Officers can be seen tasing the man, slamming his daughter on the ground, and choking the family's dog. Hi, sir. How you doing? Hey, so, uh, <laughs> Officers arrive at a man's residence and request to speak with his daughter. He informs the father that she is a suspect in an incident, and his daughter arrives. They question the girl as she emerges from the building. The officer apparently turns off his mic and proceeds to arrest the girl. The girl resists as her father yells, but the officers can be seen slamming her to the ground to subdue her. The family's dog rushes to help its owner, but an officer grabs its leash and drags it. The officer suspends it by its leash and apparently chokes the dog. He proceeds to take it inside the house. Stop. Stop. No, this is my daughter. Put that down. This is my daughter. She's 14. You can't arrest a 14 year old. No, you cannot. No, you can't. Bull Let me get my dog. Let me get my Dog. You are not going to walk He's over He's going to start fighting everybody! The officers proceed to place the girl under arrest, but her father revolts. He says she's 14 years old and they can't arrest her. Get on the ground! Stay down, don't move! You stay down, don't move! If you get up, you are going to get tased again! Do you understand me? You stay down! Roll over onto your stomach! I was getting Put your hands behind your back! The officer tases the father and the man falls to the ground. He yells at him, threatening to tase him again if he stands up. Dude, just stay away from him, please. Please. Hey, hey, watch out. Guys, put the dog in coming out. If you put my dog inside, he will stop. Stop. I'm not choking. I'm a canine officer, dude. Jeez Louise. You're choking my dog. Can you get your feet out of the way? Can you get your feet out of the way? Go up, boys. Go up, boys. Go up, boys. Get back. Get back. Get back. Shut the door, please. There you go. Dog's in. Thank you. An officer instructs the second officer to place the girl on the ground and remain on top of her because she is struggling. The dog continues attacking the officers, but one grabs its neck. The girl cries as she says the officers are choking her dog. You are under arrest. For what? Obstructing and resisting I arrest. I nothing! I was trying to help you! Stop. Jesus 
Christ, Stop. get your captain! Roll cap on your side. Can you please get your captain? Yeah, they're all coming, dude. Thank you. Chill out. Thank you. The officer informs the father that he is under arrest for obstructing and resisting. The father says he didn't do anything and was even trying to help the officers in their investigation. You're being a real asshole to me. I am? I didn't do s***. Look at your I was trying to get my dog. You threw me on the ground because I didn't want you guys to hurt my dog or hurt me or hurt my daughter. Okay. I'm not an wrecker. Stop. The charges on the father and daughter were eventually dropped. The father filed a lawsuit against the three officers who were present during the arrest. We're in the process of getting a warrant to check your house. She is not being detained. She is free to go. We're in the process of... Is she being detained? Are you going to listen or are you just going to keep repeating yourself? On January 15th, 2022, Officers of the Homestead Police Department arrive at a home and talk to a man regarding an armed robbery. The officers behaved rudely to the man and he opted not to speak to them. His pregnant wife arrived and he instructed her to enter the house against the officer's instructions. The officers surround a man's house and proceed to ask him questions. The man refuses to answer and informs the officers isn't answering any questions. The officer informs him he is being detained and the man asks for what reason. You live here with who? I'm answering any questions. <laughs> Bingo. You're not answering any questions. Nope. Cool. Can you sit down for me right there, real quick? Who else is in the house? Okay, that's cool. Sit down. What did I do? You're being detained at this point. You okay, need to sit for, down. For what reason? You need to sit down. That's all we're asking. Okay. Sit down. That's all we're asking. I'm not taking you to jail. I'm not putting handcuffs. I'm telling you to sit down. For what reason? That's it. I'll explain that to you. But the same way you're not answering questions, I don't have to answer anything either. We're all we're all on. Okay. The officer talks to his colleague and informs him that Schmidt doesn't want to answer any questions. Schmidt continues to ask why he is being detained, but the officer refuses to answer. Hey, what am I being detained? Can I ask you a question? But I need to know what I'm being detained. All right, what you're going to do is you're you said I was detained. I want to know. We're conducting what I'm being an investigation, detained. sir. Okay. In reference to burglary. Can you see anything okay. inside? So he's saying what? Home he literally came out. I said, "Hey, what's going on? But you live here?" He goes, "I'm not answering any questions." Okay. And then I said, "Who else is in the house? I'm not answering any questions." And that's illegal. And I'm being detained for that. Did I say that? But what am I being detained for? I don't have to answer your question. The second officer raises his voice while talking to Schmidt and instructs him to shut up. Schmidt refuses, and the officers say he is detained because they are investigating a burglary. I don't know where you think you're at or what you're running. Sit there. Okay. If you want to shut up, you shut up. You don't need Do you want to say? I already raised it. I already raised it. I'm not being disrespectful. Okay. You said you wanted to shut up, right? I just want to know Didn't what I'm being that? detained for. I told you. Yeah. Schmidt's wife returns, and he asks the officers to move so she can park. The officer says Schmidt is worked up, and Schmidt says the officer would also be worked up if several armed officers surrounded his house. You all worked up, man. You wouldn't be if you had 20 guys with, with guns in your, in your house? Their guns are not out. Schmidt's wife emerges from the vehicle and she is pregnant. The officers refuse her entry into the house, but Schmidt refuses and says she should enter. He asks the officers if she is also detained, and they say she isn't. We're in the process of getting a warrant to check your house. She's not being detained. She is free to go. We're in the process of... Is she being detained? Are you going to listen or are you just going to keep repeating yourself? I want you to ask my question. Is she being detained? Yes or no? She is not. She can leave. Okay. She can... No. If she's not detained, she's free to go and she's free to stay. Not inside the house. She can't enter the house. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Oh, my God. Listen. She is free. But she, she you guys need to go to the academy. House now. You guys need to go to the academy. She, yeah, everyone's good. I don't know. These <laughs> just came here saying that they're... These are <laughs> right off rip. The only thing I said was, do you live here? I don't want to answer any questions. Yeah, but I'm going to... And then you're like, oh, and you started laughing. It's like, if I'm in the wrong for saying that. I'm a, Nobody I have, said I have, that. Schmidt instructs his wife not to speak to the officers. He tells the officers they won't enter his house unless they show him a warrant. He insults the officers for the attitude they use in the case. That's it. They have no reason to be here. They could be, they could be, they can investigate all they want. You guys are not going to my property and you guys show me a warrant. That's all, that's what we're okay. in the process for. That's awesome. it. That's why we're okay. going to sit here. <clears throat> now, I'm still being detained. Yes. yes. Okay. Can you articulate the reason why I'm being yes. detained? Yes. Okay. Please articulate that. I don't need to right now. Yes, you do. If, if I'm being detained, you need to tell me what I'm being detained An for. An investigation. Okay, what are you investigating? A burglary. That's For the it. third time. Okay, burglary in this property? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Oh why? My God, you guys are so stupid. You guys are idiots. Schmidt pulls out his phone and begins recording. He asks the officers for their name and badge number. The officers refuse to give him their information. One of the officers tells him to shut up, but Schmidt refuses. The officers eventually leave as they realize Schmidt isn't involved in their investigation. That's our video for today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get notified on our newest updates. See you next time.